allow me, permit me this to say, enjoy the barbecue yesterday. Thank you, my son, my baby, my chum. My attempt at speech you have never marred. You worked very hard. For my words, I am glad you have waited. The chicken and, ve and vegetables you marinated. Not only that, allow me to add, you made pots of leaf tea that we had with glee. The company was excellent. My words are sincerely meant. That is true in my view. I speak in a manner not the least bit sinister. Not just me know my sister, but my cousin sister Anita Di was there to listen patiently. I hope you care. She has always been extremely affectionate and warm, says this mater, says this mom. Allow me to say that I enjoyed our chat. You are amazing son, my baby, my chum. You did so much work. I hope my words don't irk. You are embarrassing me, Mater. You too, Pater. My praises you needlessly sing. I hardly did anything. Marinating stuff. I speak in a manner not rough. Doesn't take long. Why make a dance and song? Song and dance, really. I speak sincerely. Allow me to say words a few. Whatever little I do is because I speak with a pause. Allow me to say words a few. I want to. I speak in a manner slow. Of praise, here's a bit more. Me know my loving, affectionate sister, I speak in a manner not sinister, did mention, I bring this to your attention, allow me to go ahead, she said, you heated the chicken in a perfect manner, to say this, Minu did clamour, allow me to go ahead, Minu said, the chicken was crisp on top and the inside was tender, to heat the chicken in a perfect way, you always do remember, you are certainly not a dance, once, when my brother Sunil had come, I speak in a manner not the least bit glum. He had made the exact same remark. Listen to me, Hark. 